Stop what you're doing and watch this video if you want to understand what's happening in the crypto market over the last couple days and what's going to happen next. Right here, this headline, today we saw Binance back out of a bailout plan of FTX. The second largest crypto marketplace in the world is no longer being purchased by the largest crypto marketplace in the world, Binance. What happened and how did we get here? Let's do a quick recap of the last couple days because this story has been insane and it is definitely going to be turned into a movie. First, CZ takes to Twitter accusing Sam Bankman-Fried, the founder of FTX, of bad-mouthing him by donating money to U.S. politicians and trying to sway policy favorable to FTX and not Binance. Uh, uh, Sam Bankman Free takes to Twitter, obviously refuting some of these comments. We later learn over the next couple of uh, days that as part of a buyout plan, Binance was an original investor in FTX. Sam Bankman Freed had purchased and through FTX bought their original investor, Binance, out in over $2 billion worth of FTT as part of that payment package. We then learned through CZ that CZ felt a little uncomfortable holding $2 billion worth of the native platform token of one of his largest competitors. What happens next is absolutely crazy. We later learned that FTX had over leveraged themselves on FTT. Basically, what happened was FTX had printed additional FTT, lent it to Alameda Research, and apparently Alameda Research was borrowing massive amounts of US dollars against FTT. Now, normally this wouldn't be a problem, right? You've got a token, you're collateralized, right? But what happens if your collateral starts to tank? Well, then you're under collateralized. That's exactly what happened here. We saw FTT price start to correct. Of course, CZ holding $2 billion worth of FTT is in a position to start tanking the price of FTT, which is precisely what he did. But CZ probably didn't fully realize just how quickly this would unwind, not just Alameda, but FTX itself. Sam, in a position now of being under collateralized and not being able to pay back these loans, is now at risk of losing both Alameda and FTX. Sam reaches out to Binance to try to sell FTX to Binance. Binance does a day or less than a day of due diligence on FTX and quickly realizes, unfortunately, that the balance sheet is not sound enough. And now tonight, Wednesday, November 9th, 2022, officially backs out of the deal. Guys, this is shocking. This is painful. If it's not your keys, it's not your crypto. Get your crypto off exchanges. I sincerely hope everyone that had money on FTX gets their money back.